Hi guys, welcome to this channel. It's Mix from the Mix Creation. The latest development we have, we have what we call the UAE jobs. And right now, for the latest information that we have, is UAE uh, Airlines is recruiting. Remember, UAE Airlines is looking for cabin crews. That is uh, around 6,000 cabin crews, the operational staff that the UAE is looking looking for. The best, uh, one of the uh, best airlines in the UAE, and it is offering what you call basic or it's offering what you call a very good package for those people that will be selected in one way or the other and uh, that is the, what is the latest development we have around the jobs for those that can do those that uh, feel they have that uh, experience or they, uh, feel they have that uh, uh, qualities or qualification that can enable them to qualify for the job it is very easy to apply you just go to the website to the car company's website then you'll apply for those jobs remember the airlines is one of the airlines that offers a very good package uh, and this time the package will be amounting to 90 to around 9725 9, 9, uh, dirhams uh, that is the all total of it all that you'll be inquiring then you'll also be getting what you call accommodation you'll be getting what you call free air travel uh, 30 days annual leave and you'll be getting what you call a fully furnished accommodation that is a According to the information that is coming from the Human Resources Department, or that is uh, information that is coming from the Emirates, uh, what we call the Emirates Airlines website. For those that uh, really have it, they can definitely apply on online. Then the procedure will follow until you get to the last step. Remember, the Emirates Airlines, as the, uh, the human, the, 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 the talent pool uh, sourcing uh, team, will be moving around 30, uh, 30 cities or 30, uh, 30 countries to look for those eligible people uh, that can really fill up the operation the operation requirement that needs over 6,000 cabin crews or uh, needs 6,000 operation people to fill up the cup. Remember, before there was a COVID, the pandemic, uh, which were the recess in uh, ups and downs of business and very many people were laid out. And it is a time now that the country is getting back to normalcy that people are needed to fill up those operational costs are needed up to fill that gap that was left during the pandemic period of time. And uh, right without even hesitating, I'm just going to go through what you call the hip site, what the, hip, the, the website itself is saying about the application of the job and how definitely you can follow the steps and get to land yourself a job that is going to pay you well and a job that is going to make you smile every single moment of day. Uh, according to the website, According to the website, uh, something still they have to remind you that those that will be eligible people or those that will be selected, you must meet the requirement for what you call the employment visa in the UAE. What does it mean? That you must be you you must meet that requirement. That you must be allowed to work in the UAE. That those people that have already have uh, red bands or that already banned from the work in the UAE. Don't please apply because you're not eligible to work in the UAE or as per the employment visa. You are not eligible because already you are banned out of the system for a given period of time. For those people that are eligible to work in the UAE to get the visa, then those are the only people that the chance will go to and they'll have the opportunity to, to work in these big airlines. Right now, let me just go through what the website say and what I got from the website. Definitely such that we can try to share it out together and we can share as a group that those people that really will get it all, they can really go to the, they can go to the website, try to apply and fill in and get a chance for themselves. The UAE jobs, Emirates Airlines is hiring and to how to apply the salary and how much you are going to get. Remember, something that I needed to note to you that those are People that will be selected, they will definitely have to you must meet the requirements of you uh, having what you call the employment visa in the UAE. Then still candidates, we are looking at candidates. Those are hoping to get a career in what you call the, a career uh, in Emirates, uh, which you know all know that Emirates is one of the, the largest international, the largest international airlines, and it offers what we call a handsome package. A handsome package we are talking about, we are talking about the salary, which is a very good salary, which is amounting to 9,770 9, 9, dirhams, that is per month. Then also look at uh, accommodation, the fully furnished accommodation. We look at air travel, the concession air travel uh, to and also what you call a 30 day uh, 30 day annual leave that is from uh, to to your country to your country of origin then also you look at the per pay fly that is per, per hour uh, flight pay that you definitely need to pay to to need to 
to earn at the end of it all. All also we look at other uh, packages that may be accrued. Uh, it's the same thing. Remember, this Dubai based uh, uh, and has announced to recruit. It has announced to recruit over uh, 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 over six thousand operation uh, operation staffs. That will be the male and the female. And these staffs, uh, as per the as per the announcement, they will be they will be selected in over uh, thirty cities around the world. And this one will be ending uh, 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 probably the end of the next month. That is the end of June. They drive for it to look for those operation staff, which is amounting to. 6,000 operations staff will be ending around June. That is by the website of the Emirates, Emirates career page. That is what normally they are saying. However, before you think of applying, there are certain different requirements that you're supposed to meet. As a person who is eligible to that uh, job, there are requirements that you are supposed to meet. And we are going to go through what is the requirement. What are the requirements for you to apply for that cabin crew? Or what are those requirements that you are to apply for the job? Remember, this job is not discriminating anyone, all in nationalities are eligible to apply. And if you feel you have those qualities, you have that experience, you have those academic credentials that enable you to apply, you are eligible to apply for this. Sometimes I always keep on telling people that always try out. Don't fail to try out. You never know what God is pre-planning for you for that day. Remember the academic requirements, if I can highlight you, the academic requirement for this job is only what we call a high school certificate, which I believe most of you people, which I believe most of the people have it in one way or the other. So it's just a matter of you filling up the form and protruding and submitting what is required of you for you to land yourself in the next level or to land yourself in the next election that will be uh, will be announced or according to the message that will be sent to you as according to the progress of your application. However, let us try to go through what you call the requirements that are being the requirements that are the requirements for these airlines for you to apply for the cabin or any other job that is being up advertised in this case. You remember that over 6,000 uh, operation staff that are needed and preferably if you definitely to apply you cannot fail out to be in among those 6,000 operation staff. One of the requirements you mustn't have what you call one year's experience in either hospitality or what we call the customer care. If you've ever worked in a hospitality sector or in any customer care department, you remember this, we are dealing with people and we're dealing with how you can handle all different people at one level. You stand a chance and that is one requirement and you must have what we call a one year's experience only. Then still too, the minimum qualification is should, should be what you call a high school certificate for you to apply for this position in the Emirate Air. If you're thinking to have that career, you should have what we call uh, a minimum qualification of high school certificate as per the requirement. Then number three, it should be fluent in English must be while you must also be if you have speaking another language added language then it is it is also an added and it is also an added, added advantage at all also you should be able to articulate the words you should be able to be speaking and you should be able to to, to convey the message you remember when you're dealing with customers and you're dealing with with customer care for those people that have been able to work in hospitality or even the custom other customer care departments you definitely need to know how to convey the message and give you convey, convey the message such that the person or the customer will understand you in one way or the other. So, uh, frequency, uh, frequency in English is a must for you to apply for these jobs uh, uh, in what we call the Emirate, the Emirate Air. Uh, in what we call the Emirates uh, Airlines as one of them. Remember, uh, when we still have to talk about is that the candidates must be one centimeter high in height and must be must be reaching 212 centimeters high while you are standing on what we call your tiptoes. Why is it this like this? It's because some of some of what we call the emergency equipment in the aircraft, you must be able to reach those equipment. That's why the height is is being the height required. It must be 160 centimeters in height, and you must be able to reach 212 centimeters in height if you are standing on what we call a tip toes. If you are standing on new tip toe, then still, and still, uh, the, uh, another requirement for you to apply for this job, you must not have what you call visible tattoos. Uh, remember, when you are a cabin crew and when you're putting on uniform, 
those visible tattoos are not recommended or if your body or your arm that has a visible tattoo then you are not eligible to apply for that job because it is one of the requirements that you're supposed to have or course one of the requirements that you're supposed to meet in one way or the other then we still we also look at the selected candidates will be based in dubai if you're going to be selected to work in under the emirates you are emirates alliance then you'll be selected to be to, to work in dubai or to live in dubai what does it mean at that say that's where we got back to the first statement that we made that for you to live in dubai you must have what we call you must be allowed to live in dubai or you must have what we call be accepted or meet what you call the uae employment visa requirements then still let us see how can you apply remember if you want to apply for this particular job you can fill up an online job an online form which is on the emirates airline color uh, career page you can submit your resume in english a photograph of, for assessment you must attach a photograph which is going to be used for assessment in one or the other then you complete you complete that form after that form will completed they will give you some set of multiple questions that you'll be able to understand to answer then you'll also uh, submit them then they will guide you to the next step or what you're supposed to do at the next step in one way in the next step remember after that they will send you a message of which you will also be invited to what we call a video interview for you to assess thoroughly exactly the old person that are going to recruit in one way or the other then remember also the shortlisted candidate will have what you call a brief face-to-face -face interview before getting what you call a final note if you are selected you will have to what you call a face-to-face -face interview before you are being selected or before you are being taken to what you call the final note and when you talk about the final note that final note is the final note where you are being selected and you're chosen to go and when chosen to go i think you have to do other training like for example you will do what you call an induction training you'll go at you call an induction or training which will be for around five days then you'll go to what which uh, followed by what you call a 13 days safety uh, training which you also have to go which is a safety training and which is called what you call the medical training so all those are requirements that you're supposed to meet if you are going to apply for the Emirates cabin crew or Emirates. We, we remember they are not only looking at cabin crews because they are looking at over 6,000 operational staff that should be the male and the female in that category so you never know you apply and your ability will ever to push you out and to go to somewhere else remember something that always people ask as they're applying for jobs is how much am i earning how much am i going to earn if i get to this job definitely that's where a point we are going that how much are you going to remember is one of the international air airlines that is recognized and it's one of the biggest airlines in the world that we can talk about and how much are you going to be offered if the first remember the carrier will be offering you 4260 dirhams that is what we call the monthly basic allowance the monthly basic salary is going to be 4260 dirhams that is the main basic salary plus 600 100 by plus 600 uh, 6125 per hour flight that is what we call the hour flight the hour flight will be paid that amount of money remember this hour flight uh, pay is always based on what we call the average of 80 to 100 hours a month those are actually the hours that you're supposed to be flying yeah, you're supposed to fly and that will give you a total of six thousand one hundred two twenty five per hour and which is going to add up in one or the other to to your amount so meaning that if you take the average total pay to we do the average total pay then you also add on what you call uh, the flying hour time which is a basic of 80 to 100 hours meaning that your basic your salary your total amount a monthly salary will be amounting to what you call 9770 and uh, dirham as your starting salary for all employees that is going to be your starting um, uh, salary as an employee remember we talk about the basic salary then we also talk about what you call the flying time remember the flying time will always be given to you and uh, it depends on how definitely your performance will be at the end of it all uh, remember which the dirham of 9770 which is quite a very good amount of money 
for those that are looking for jobs and definitely you can have that opportunity. You know, every single moment the opportunity comes on your way, you try to try out those opportunities in one way. That's why we keep on telling people, never fear to try, but always try to try out those opportunities. You never know what God may be planning for you and what God may be having for you on table at that time. Remember, when we are looking at the illumination, we are looking at the package, we definitely look at amount of money. We've talked about the salary, how much you are supposed to earn if you are being recruited by Emirates uh, Airlines. No, but again, also we have an additional packages that you also need to know, like for example, transportation, uh, travel and transportation packages being given by the airline. Also, we look at furnished accommodation is provided to staff. And these accommodations are all over across Dubai in different uh, different areas. So you'll be provided by a fully furnished accommodation for a bachelor's person. Then remember also, uh, employee will also you will also be offered what we call a 30-day leave per year and a one annual ticket for the country for the country from from Dubai or from the UAE to your country of origin, wherever you may be coming coming from, which is uh, partially, which is something that is very good for those people that are planning or people that can take up the opportunity. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Whatever I'll get something, I'll make sure that I share it out to you. I'll make sure that we have it a peck of what is happening and what kind of opportunities you can take at your level. Remember, it's made from the next question. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, don't forget to hit that notification bell and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it will always be the only way that you'll always be updated wherever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.